Throughout the ages, men of magic have pulled rabbits out of empty hats. But throughout time, man has learned that this is merely an optical illusion, and the rabbit is stored elsewhere until the great reveal. However, in Minecraft, pulling items from an otherwise empty ender chest isn't a thing of fantasy. To analyse this more closely, we are going to use a technique that Einstein used to discover special relativity. Let's do a little thought experiment. Chi and Cell are in a room with an ender chest. Chi walks up to the ender chest and deposits one gold block. Cell, on the other hand, is slightly richer than Chi and deposits two gold blocks into the ender chest. Then Chi and Cell both want to find the weight of this ender chest. Chi, upon weighing the ender chest, sees that the mass of the ender chest is equal to the mass of a gold block plus the mass of an empty ender chest. Cell, on the other hand, upon weighing the ender chest, sees that the mass of the ender chest is equal to two times the mass of a gold block plus the mass of an ender chest. However, the two admit that the ender chest must have the same mass. Therefore, the mass of a gold block plus the mass of an empty ender chest must be equal to two times the mass of a gold block plus the mass of an empty ender chest. Therefore, the mass of a gold block must be equal to two times the mass of a gold block. The only way for this to be the case is if the mass of a gold block is zero kilograms. However, both Chi and Cell know that the items in the real world contain some aspects of weight. If they did not, then they would float and not fall, and they definitely wouldn't activate pressure plates which rely on the weight to be pressed down. So, what is the missing link? Well, perhaps the distinction has to be made between items inside and outside of the ender chests and the process of inserting items from the outside world into the ender chest makes the items lose mass. But what is the source of this loss of mass? To figure this out, we should look at the crafting recipe of the ender chest. To craft an ender chest, we surround an eye of ender with obsidian. Obsidian itself has no properties which could explain the ender chest's weird mass-taking properties However, it is also made out of an Eye of Ender. Eyes of Ender have this really interesting property that when the player throws them, they fall upwards instead of falling downwards like all other items in Minecraft. This is evidence that the Eye of Ender in fact has negative mass. The second bit of evidence for this can be seen in another thought experiment. Imagine a scenario similar to before, but instead of Chi putting a gold block in the ender chest, he puts an ender chest into the ender chest. Since every ender chest shares the same inventory, the ender chest must have infinite mass. The reason is that this ender chest contains this ender chest, which in turn contains this ender chest, which contains this ender chest, etc. Since it was thought all these ender chests have some individual mass, the sum of all the masses would produce infinity, making an infinitely massive ender chest. However, there is one glaring problem with this idea. To sell, paradoxically, the ender chest is empty. So how can the contents of an ender chest be both infinite in mass and zero at the same time. Well, the reason we used to think Chi's ender chests would have infinite mass is because we assumed ender chests have some individual mass of their own. However, if the ender chest weighs the same for both Cell and Chi, then the mass of the ender chest plus the mass of the ender chest plus the mass of all the ender chests inside that one ender chest would equal the mass of another ender chest. Therefore, an infinite amount of ender chests 
would equal one ender chest. And the only way that this can be the case is if the mass of an empty ender chest is zero kilograms. But how can this be the case when it is crafted from eight blocks of obsidian and an eye of ender? Well, if the eye of ender has negative mass, it can cancel out the positive mass of the obsidian, leaving a massless ender chest. Therefore, this once thought paradox is also evidence to our theory that the Eye of Ender has negative mass. But let's return to our initial thought experiment. If the Eye of Ender only contains 8 obsidians worth of negative mass, how does it make a gold block placed inside it massless? One explanation is that the ender chest contains a pool of zero energy. As we add mass, the amount of negative energy rises to counterbalance the matter. To visualize this, we use a system similar to a manometer. A manometer is an instrument that uses liquids to measure pressure. It's comprised of two tanks joined together with a thin pipe. One of our tanks represents the amount of negative mass in the system provided by the Eye of Ender. We'll call this tank the Ender Tank. The other tank represents the positive mass in the system provided by the player. We will call this tank the Matter Tank. As you can see, when there is no mass in the system, the amount of negative mass is exactly equal to the amount of positive mass. As the player puts mass into the ender chest, the level of both the negative and positive energy in the two tanks also increases. However, still, according to any observer, the total energy level of the system, i.e. the difference of the two height levels of the liquid, is zero. Even though mass is still stored in the matter tank, the total mass is zero. So this leaves us with one final question. When Steve puts items into his ender chest, they get devoured by the void. But how does Steve take the items out again? After all, any other player who comes along would see an empty, massless ender chest. I suggest that Steve is only able to take out the items which he believes are in the ender chest, and it is only when Steve believes that there are items in his ender chest that it appears that he is correct and those items come into view. So next time you're out of diamonds or any resource for that matter, take a look in your ender chest. If you believe that the items you are looking for are really there, then you too will see that they are indeed there. And as always, thanks for watching.